electric field due to a line charge this is gaussian surface this is my line line and this is my gaussian surface so friends what is gaussian surface gaussian surface around a charge distribution may be a point charge a line charge a surface charge or a volume charge is closed surface it is the surface is closed okay closed surface and such that electric field intensity at all point on the surface is same electric field intensity intensity at all the points on the surface is same and the electric flux through the surface is along the normal to the surface electric flux to, through the surface along to the normal to the surface so like this is 90 degree angle so this is this is the gaussian surface and you see electric you see that electric flux through the surface is along the normal normal and electric field intensity at all point means all the point you see in here electric field intensity is equal okay electric field intensity at all the points on the surface is equal so this is my gaussian surface friends okay now we discuss consider thin infinitely long straight line charge having a uniform linear linear charge density lambda my charge density charge density is lambda okay charge density is lambda and placed along y y dash this 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 is the y and y dash y and y dash by symmetry it follows that electric field due to due to line charge at a distance r in any plane at right angles to the line charge is of the same magnitude and directed radially outwards so it is radially outwards this point is important radially out what and to find electric field due to line charge at point p distance r from it draw a cylindrical surface of radius r and length l my length is this length is l about the line charge as it axis this cylindrical surface may be treated as the gaussian surface for the line charge this is the gaussian surface the surface is gaussian surface let us now calculate the electric flux that crosses the gaussian surface from the charge enclosed by the gaussian surface since electric lines of force are parallel to end faces of the cylinder there is no component of field along the normal to the end faces so the electric flux crosses only through the cut surface of the cylinder you will see through the cut surface this surface is called ds so friends what is the formula phi equals to e cross area area of the cut surface of the cut cut surface area of the cut surface of a cylinder length a so it can be written phi e into sorry it can be written as e cross 2 pi r l okay area of the cut surface equal to e into 2 pi r l and phi equals to by the gaussian theory Q divided by epsilon zero, and you must remember that Q is equal to 
लंडा ए चार्ज डेंसिटी इक्वल टू लंडा सो टोटल क्यू इक्वल टू लंडा एल सो लंडा एल डिवाइडेड बाय एफ साइलेंट जीरो लंडा एल डिवाइडेड बाय एफ साइलेंट जीरो एंड हाई इक्वल टू सो वी गेट ई इक्वल्स टू वन बाय टू पाई एफ साइलेंट जीरो lambda divided by r simple calculation friends ll cut and you get this is my electric field okay this is my electric field field due to a point charge due to electric field due to to due to a point charge 